there's some passages that you can just meditate on um, constantly throughout your life and it will bring different dimensions of understanding and one of those is Matthew chapter 5 for me when Jesus refers to the beatitudes and also loving your enemies I always refer back to loving your enemies because you know Jesus mentioned to the disciples that if we don't uh, forgive one another our father in heaven won't forgive us and um, just thinking how deep that thought goes I mean if we have an unforgiving heart we're unable to love with the love of God in us and so I'm reminded of um, of how he, Jesus mentioned to love your enemies and um, to uh, bless those that curse us do good to those that hate us pray for those that persecute, use, and mistreat us. And so um, I'm encouraged because if we ever want to know how do we love our enemies, it's, it's, in, it's in the verse in Matthew um, chapter 5, verse 44. It mentions how we are to love them. Just in the same verse, he says, love your enemy. How do you love them? bless those that curse you and um, do good to those that harm you and pray for those that persecute you it reminds me of domestic violence the um, the tragedy of, of how um, human beings can be so cruel to one another uh, how do we love someone that mistreats us that persecutes us that uses us I know from experience um, the first thing you have to do is get yourself to safety get yourself to safety because um, abuse and domestic violence is real it's no joke and um, whether it's physical whether it's mental or spiritual emotional um, it does damage to a person and so uh, for those that take advantage of those that are coming out of that, shame on them. God will judge. God will judge the abuser and those that uh, use a woman who comes out of that. Um, and so um, I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged that not only do we I mean obviously when we turn the cheek we turn the cheek um, to a point where it's not uh, detrimental to our safety so safety first get yourself to safety uh, aside from that though we can still love our enemies from afar um, while we're in safety uh, we can still bless them we can still to a degree do good to those that hate us and obviously pray for those that persecute mistreat and use us and so my prayer today is that uh, as we become more Christ-like that the Lord would really impute his love in us and that he would protect us wherever we are as he does um, and that all things as they work together for the good of those of us who love the Lord who love God uh, may he fulfill his promises in us in Jesus name I love you all